mentioned uh, you can select the beat parameter you want to uh, sweep with with your J1 joystick knob and over here if you can see it moving around so we have a quarter beat a half beat three quarters of a beat one beat two beat four beat eight beat and 16 beats now that's that's how many beats you want the filter to sweep through now to do a beat sync filter sweep you're gonna want to press your P2 knob again to go up to frequency and then uh, you're gonna want to Move it so this it's all white and filled up right here. So basically, this means it's going to filter through the entire frequency range. If you just have it on that, that's a manual, basically just no cutoff value right there. It's, it's only going to filter around 722 hertz, but we want to affect the entire frequency spectrum, so you want to have it all filled up solid white. Now, I already have a 8-beat uh, loop playing right now of the song, or 16, excuse me, so... Uh, I already have 16 selected down here on the J1 knob, so let's start with the 16, and then I'll show you how it works on the graph in a second. So I'm going to turn the music up now, and I'm going to begin the filter when it gets to the end of the loop. So as you can hear it now, it's sweeping through. It's going to cycle through every 16 beats. Can you see how that works? Yes, no, maybe? Well, let's take a look on the manual and the graph. So basically, when you're doing the 16 beat, basically what this means it's gonna be it's gonna filter through, it's gonna sweep through the sine wave frequency right here, like that. So it's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So when it gets to eight and sixteen is the the change points where it's going to reverse directions and go back up and down the frequency uh, suite. So I'm going to demonstrate that and watch my follow my mouse cursor when I engage the effect. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you kind of see how that works now? It goes sweeps up and down the frequency spectrum. Now let's on a 16 beat. Now I'm going to select a I'm going to select the 8 beat one now and that'll sound slightly different. So basically now it's going to go 1 2 3 4 and 8 are going to be at the apex of the sine wave. So I'm going to turn the music up and demonstrate that. 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so you kind of see how that works now? I'll do it again one more time, but I won't count. So just follow the mouse cursor. So yeah, that's how you do the beat sync uh, filter sweeps. As again, you can have, uh, these are your various parameters right here. You can adjust for each of the, how many uh, beats you want the filter to sweep through. So I'll just demonstrate them all real quick, just so you can get a, a hear of how they sound like. And again, you're gonna make sure your frequency is uh, all the way to get the best effect, sounding effect. You can do it a little bit smaller, then it's not, it's only gonna affect a certain frequency range. So, so yeah, I'll demonstrate this. So I'm on a quarter beat right now. And I'm only going to be selecting this little bit of frequency range right here. So you can hear it really sweeping through really fast. And I said you can adjust this. And you can even, you can go through and affect even higher frequency ranges or lower, only the lower frequency ranges. So that was on a quarter beat. That was on a quarter beat. Uh, I'm going to boost this up to everything, the entire frequency range. And I'm just going to go through all the rest of them now just so you can get a feel for what they sound like. And I'll move it over here so you can see me changing the, the beat parameter. So that was a quarter. We already listened to. I'll play it again. And I'll just go through half, three quarters, one, all the other ones.
that was a quarter. This is gonna be a half now. Let's do three quarters now. Let's do one beat now. That was kinda offbeat. Hold on one second. Two beats now. So you can hear it kind of—it's kind of making like a kind of almost sounds like the sound is moving. So it's like one boom, two boom, three boom, four boom. So that was two. Let's do four. Four beats. Eight beats. And finally, 16 beats. So basically, it's going to sweep through one filter through the entire loop. So let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So yeah, there you go. That's the filter, the high pass filter effect. Um, just play around with it, and you'll get the hang of it eventually. Uh, a lot of the effects are kind of confusing at first, but like all things, you just gotta practice at it, and uh, you know, play with the parameters and. Uh, you'll get the hang of things, so don't worry about it. Just keep at it. So next we're going to look at the low-pass filter in the next video.